We are now beginning the second section of our video series. In this section, we will be discussing Metasploit payloads and encoders. Metasploit has several payloads or shellcodes in its repository. To start with a basic attack, we are not going into the depth of vulnerabilities. This will be covered in the next section. In this section, we are covering a general scenario where we can create malicious executables or malicious payloads using the available shellcodes in Metasploit's repository. Metasploit comes with a tool called MSF Payload. This is a command line instance of Metasploit that is used to generate various file types of shellcodes that are available in the repository. The various file types can either be a C program, or an executable, or a Ruby program, and so on. We can convert any Metasploit shellcode into one of those file formats that use MSF Payload. Later on, we can transfer this generated file to our target system and execute it somehow in order to compromise it. This is an overview of how an attack is framed using MSF Payload, or by generating executables or different file formats using MSF Payload. To start with MSF Payload, we can pass the command with the help parameter into our console. This will list the different file formats for us. As you can see, we can have Perl, Ruby, RAW, EXE, and so on. In order to view the available list of payloads, we can simply give the L parameter. This will list all the available payloads in the Metasploit repository. All of these payloads are actually programs that can help us in opening a back connection on our target machine. Now let us see how we can use MSF payload with our Windows Shell Reverse TCP payload. Here you can see that the O parameter is actually used to see details about the payload that we have selected. Now this payload will be setting up a reverse TCP stager and other details like version and so on. Now here are the parameter details that we have to pass before we can create any working file for this payload. Lhost and Lport are already set. So let's pass the value of Lhost to MSF payload for the reversed TCP payload. Also, let's change the value of Lport. If we just pass the O parameter, we can see whether we've passed the value or not. Alright, so the values are now reflecting. If you remember, these are different file formats that can be generated. In order to generate an exe file format, we use the x parameter, that's capital X, along with a path. This will create this 123.exe file name in our root directory. So, our payload or our executable is now created with the file name 123.exe and is saved in our root folder. Similarly, if we have to generate a C program, or we want to view the actual shellcode to add in our own script, we can simply pass the C parameter and press enter. Now let's go back to our backtrack session or our Linux session to see whether the files have been created or not. In the root folder you will find the exe file as well as the C program. When you open it with the editor, you will find that the following shellcode has been generated. Now this program can be called very easily in our own C program. Such as if suppose we are working on our own C module for penetration testing, we can easily use the generated program. So, this was a short demonstration of how we can use MSF payload in Metasploit.